America and Russia were considered allies during the Second World War, although their relationship was a strained one, partially because of their differing beliefs in capitalist and communist societies. For both countries, the threat of a fatal incident was a very real consideration. One of the biggest precautions in England was the construction of secret underground nuclear bunkers, intended for the use and safety of Britain's leaders and politicians in the case of an attack. They may have appeared like this on the outside, but the inside, they were more functional. There were thousands of bunkers built during and for the Cold War, but the country was split into 18 regions latterly, uh, and each one of those had a main bunker, like this one, and a sub-bunker in case the main got knocked out. Guards were uh, on duty in here um, 24 hours a day, obviously to stop the likes of you and me from breaking in here and obviously to protect what this bunker did, which was communicating to various places like Downing Street, for example. One morning I discovered an empty car, and that's usually an indication that we've got somebody nefarious doing something in the countryside. And so I went to find out whether it was somebody poaching in the woods and discovered it wasn't. It was actually a chap who tried to pretend that he was a photographer and uh, it turned out that he was a Russian spy. The government took this 25 acres from us in 1952 to build the bunker and we then farmed over it as part of the cover so the Russians wouldn't uh, know it was here. We had quite a few uh, excitements uh, in that capacity. The CND used to march here on occasions and uh, they would get as far as the fence, they would cut the wire, the policeman would clap his hand on their shoulders. Honour was all satisfied as the journalists all took their photographs and uh, Honour was satisfied for another year. Around the bunker there is a wire perimeter which of course you couldn't also get in, there were dogs, Alsatian dogs running uh, where we are now in the compound here just to deter anybody from, uh, from coming in. So during the Cold War it was kept nicely tight and shut up but unobtrusive. If you say something is secret, then of course people get excited about it. If you leave it uh, just sort of low key, then often people don't know it's here. There was a film made by a man called Peter Watkins in Britain in the early 1960s, which was made for British television. To that point, pretty much nothing had been reported on the BBC about nuclear weapons. And Peter Watkins decided he was going to puncture what he called the silence surrounding nuclear weapons and it represented a nuclear attack, a Soviet nuclear attack on a small town in Kent and this was very 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 graphic. It showed the death and destruction uh, that would be wrought by the nuclear attack and it really cut apart this notion that Britain could survive a nuclear attack. This was so shocking to the government when he discovered the government, the government discovered this was being made because uh, they were very close to the BBC, that a combination of the government and the BBC stopped the film being shown on British television. Cuban Missile Crisis, and that was quite, quite a big issue because uh, we probably came as close to nuclear war then as any time since or before. Luckily, it didn't last very long, only a month or so, but it involved ships carrying missiles to within 80 miles of the United States to be delivered to Cuba. And um, as you can understand, the Americans got very hot under the collar about that. But um, it scared the world. We were shown um, a, a film, I suppose it would have been a film in those days. Um, and uh, some of it had um, live action of uh, showing a, a family, um, preparing a, a place of safety in case um, uh, there was a, a four minute warning that we were told about um, um, to protect ourselves against the blast and the heat and the eventual fallout. Um, and then they had a cartoon um, bit that sort of followed on from that. It showed the, the mushroom cloud and everything that was um, associated with it. We talked amongst ourselves as kids because um, I was only a child at the time. So, um, and uh, yeah, we. Yeah, it was just fright. It was frightening. We were told, really, that if uh, a nuclear attack happened, that um, really that, that that would be it. We we wouldn't really know anything about it. So. And so, capitalist and communist countries finally put their differences aside after decades of conflict. The Cold War seemed to be at an end. <laughs>